All right, you guys are looking at the office for maybe one of the last times. We are moving to a place that is way more conducive to the style of work that we do. It's smaller and cheaper, which is the main thing for us. Right now, we don't need all this space, even though it's almost the same size. Much better part of town, in my opinion. Parking might not be as good. We're gonna give you guys just one final look at the office. Be the last time that you ever see this tech syndicate office that became the crate office. That's but it. Logan, why is tech syndicate always moving? Why can't we just sit still? The new office is gonna be the forever office. Uh, this place always felt like it was it was a decent place to come. We kind of made it our own. Uh, but now we're gonna have a place that really feels like home with some peers around us, and uh, that'll be cool. Let's take one final look at the set back here because this is the last time you guys are gonna see this. Yeah. Anything new added to the set that people should see before we tear all this down? Because the new set's gonna be totally different. Well, not totally different, just different. Got that Gravis gamepad. Dude, the Gravis gamepad right there, it's got the broken little nub where you used to have the joystick, but this thing, it's like a Super Nintendo controller with, I don't know why this is curved up here like that. Mm. It doesn't feel, it feels weird. I wonder what this button on top is for. I, I forget what that does. Um, and then there's no L and R, which was like. Or start and select. Yeah, it came out at a time where I really would have liked an LNR. Deck of priest spells. Second ed, so. Yep, some new books added through here. Now we're using these books like, um, for instance, we're using this to do a little bit of research. This game, in my opinion, was a little more streamlined and kind of got out of the way more than some of the newer versions. Maybe fit that I, which I've not played yet. And people complain a lot about Thacko, but as I saw someone say on the internet, if 12 year olds in a basement can calculate Thacko, then why are we complaining? Seriously. Thack zero for people who want to correct me. There you go. I said both ways to Thack please. Zero. Thack zero. I like Thacko because it sounds ridiculous. So yeah, we've been using this um, to work on the rule book for our tabletop game. Want to tell them about that a little bit? Should we show them anything? Any paperwork? Any drawings? When we can. Mm, Not really. Uh, just stay tuned. There's going to be some cool stuff with that, but we're, we're working on a... Uh, uh, RPG that's gonna coincide with the Zweihander uh, game. I can't say Zweihander. Oh, wait a second. Zweihanda. Zweihanda. I can, I can so hear the like... comments section in this video. But why are you making another game? You haven't even finished Zweihander yet. We were gonna make a tabletop game, very light uh, tabletop game, like 30, 40 pages, uh, to coincide with the uh, computer game. And just when I decided that you know it might be good for world building and also uh, rule building for the game to go ahead and start working on some of that. And all of a sudden it's like, holy shit, this is a lot of fun, number one. And number two, we are getting so much, val just so much valuable information and some really interesting rules that are gonna make the game kind of dynamic and fun. So we're gonna take all this and you guys will have an RPG book and at certain Kickstarter levels, you'll be able to pick up the RPG book um, that's gonna be fifth ed compatible, but add some totally new mechanics uh, and make it a little bit more savage as well. For those of you that, that, that don't know, this is actually what I was originally hired on for was my knowledge of like fantasy things and stuff like this not talking about graphics cards and stuff oh this so speaking yeah. of this um guys we changed the patreon back over to uh tech syndicate and i love to hire him full time right now we're paying him hourly for like six seven hours here and there a week per, per week that's generous <laughs> yeah uh, but right now we're actually working on an interesting video here he wants to know and i want to know if these really cheap budget cards still suck for gaming. Like, can you play 1080p gaming on this? 720p, what can you play? Is this better than a console? The Xbox One XX Supreme 4K comes out. This isn't really gonna beat a console, but you know, at 80 bucks MSRP, is it still crap? Oh, it's, a, it's an RX 5500 or 550, I'm sorry. I'm not sure if we told everybody that or not. Mm -mm. These little guys, those are for 20 bucks a piece. Yeah, 7570s from Dell's. These are great. Actually work in Crossfire too, if you really, really care. Um, but they're, they're crap. If you remember, I have been doing some analog, which was the, the show that focused on uh, board games. So I'm gonna do a little bit more kind of to like kind of mesh the two worlds together. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a series on board games that are based on video games. So like Doom, the Dark Souls video game that just came out. There's a Mega Man battle system game. There's actually a couple different Mega Man games, oh, but there's, nice. yeah, there's all kinds of different games that were all based on different video games and stuff. And I want to get them, try them out. How true do they stay to the game, to the actual right. video game? Is it more fun than playing the video game? Is it less fun than video game? We've got Skyrim Monopoly. Do you guys want to see some Skyrim Monopoly? That's there's a Fallout Monopoly. Too. Oh, even better. Yeah. So we never really got around to actually putting out the full video on this. There's only like 20 something copies in America. 
said or something 17 like this. in America, yeah. not including the one we have. So this one's from Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, so one of our mods on our Discord and on our forum, Bard, Snagglebug, is a very nice man who sent us a bunch of these things, and we just want to say hey, thanks, and show off a bunch of these things like yeah, this. Yeah, Soul Reaper, Soul Reaper stuff. one. We have them all over the op, like Planescape Torment. But... Yeah, we were planning on making like a video that says uh, Bard, thanks very much, and then giving you guys a PO box uh, where you could send not glitter bombs. Did I just damn us to getting glitter yes, bombs? You did. Yeah, you did. Cut that out. This video is uh, mostly fluff, guys. But hey, it's the holidays, and we're not going to be here to film anything. So this, this is, is what get you get. Cut. Don't worry about it. This is better to get cut anyway. But yeah, just let you guys know this is a fun fluff video. But still, whatever. You should watch it. <laughs> we'll show you the new set when we get there. But it's one more wide shot of what we're leaving, guys, with some maybe some teary-eyed oh. music. Here's my desk. Oh, it's the lease for the new uh, place. And then, uh, yeah, just, just puts on my desk pretty much this. Still got my rolling capture. Uh, Mayflower Electronics is over on the over here actually. I haven't put it back on my desk yet, but this is what I use as my my amp, the new Arc amp. Get some mining going on here. Josh donated some of his hardware, and so we we're there for splitting some of this money with him to make sure he can pay his bills as well, which is nice. Uh, that's one of the ways that he's able to make some money but yeah this room is a little bit toasty what do we have about 2000 hash uh 3100 3100 oh we're up okay good you may need to transplant him into a bigger pot at the new place look at this he's massive mate check him out and soon we'll do something else with land syndicate but not until we get into our new spot uh the move's not going to take that long guys i mean just a couple of days but we gotta start boxing everything up here we're not moving that far either so it's not a big deal It'll be our forever home, I hope. That's pretty much it. Any announcements or anything we want to make? Hope you guys enjoyed the holidays. We'll be back in full swing soon. Yeah, America. America. It's not an in-joke. How about that? Yeah, no. Yeah. Just a t-shirt. It's cool, though. It just looks rad. All right, so grab, grab a t-shirt over at uh, epicpants.com. We'll see you guys later.